Welcome to the beautiful Lincoln Memorial. The monument is built in honor of the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln. While it is only one of the several monuments built to honor an American president, many regard this one as the finest. Partly because of the beauty of the monument, but also because of the man it was built to honor. Before going into details about the monument itself, I want to give you a brief summary about who Abraham Lincoln was. Abraham Lincoln was born in 1809 on a small farm south of Hodgenville, Kentucky. He was raised in a poor home, being the son of an uneducated farmer. Abraham himself, however, quickly developed an interest in studies. While his formal education consisted of about 18 months of schooling from unofficial teachers, he still mastered the Bible. William Shakespeare's work, English history, and American history. He was very much self-educated, reading every book he could get his hands on, and he soon developed a plain writing and rhetorical style that puzzled audiences. This brought him into politics at the age of 23, when he became a member of the Whig Party, and later elected to a term in the US House of Representatives in 1846. With his unorthodox rhetorical style, he made both enemies and friends and left the politics after only one term and began working as a lawyer. He returned to politics later and this time got a much more central role as he won the Republican Party nomination in 1860 and was elected president the same year. Lincoln's hatred for slavery made the already strained relation between the northern and the southern states even more problematic. The Civil War broke out the very next year. Throughout the Civil War, Lincoln was the political leader for the Union, and his leadership qualities helped make the United States what it is today. Lincoln rallied public opinion through the powerful rhetoric of his messages and speeches. His Gettysburg Address, the speech he gave a few months after the Union victory at Gettysburg, is a prime example and one of the most quoted speeches in US history. Lincoln is however most known for his issuing of the Emancipation Proclamation and his contribution in passing the 13th Amendment which permanently abolished slavery in the US. In 1865, shortly after the war was won, Lincoln was assassinated while watching a theater act. This made him a martyr for the ideal of national unity, and he's today one of the most famous and highly ranked of all the US presidents. The first planning of constructing a memorial to Lincoln started two years after his assassination. However, the site for the memorial was not chosen until 1902. Congress formally authorized the memorial in 1911, and the first stone was put into place three years later on Lincoln's birthday, February 12th. The monument was dedicated in 1922, with Lincoln's by then only surviving child, Robert Todd Lincoln, attending the ceremony. The building you're looking at is made out of Indiana limestone and Yule marble, which gives the memorial its shining white color. The building is heavily inspired by the ancient Greek temple of Zeus, this is not only evident because it's surrounded by massive columns, but also because it is centered around a large statue of a man sitting on a throne. In the Greek temple, it was Zeus sitting on the throne. In this case, it's Abraham Lincoln. The 36 columns are interpreted as representing the 25 US states at the time of Lincoln's death, as well as the 11 Confederate states. If you take a look above the columns, you will see the names of the states inscribed in the order that each state joined the Union, along with the year of their joining in Roman numerals. The name of the remaining 22 states that have joined the Union when the memorial was completed are carved on the exterior attic walls in the same manner, even though it can be hard to see from the ground. A plaque in front of the monument also honors the admissions of Alaska and Hawaii in 1959. 
While the outside itself is very beautiful, the focus of this memorial is Daniel Chester French sculpture of Lincoln, seated on a throne, stoically looking east over the reflecting pool towards the Washington Monument. The statue was carved from 28 blocks of white Georgia marble and stands 6 meters high and 6 meters wide. Behind the statue on the wall you can read the following inscription. In this temple, as in the hearts of the people, from whom he saved the Union, the memory of Abraham Lincoln is enshrined forever. You can also find some of Lincoln's speeches inscribed on the walls inside the memorial. On the south side, you can find his famous speech at Gettysburg, and on the other side, his second inaugural speech. This site itself has also been the place of several famous speeches. The most famous one, in 1963, during one of the greatest political rallies in the US history, the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom, which gathered more than 25,000 people in the area surrounding the memorial. They came to hear Martin Luther King Jr. deliver his memorable speech, I Have a Dream, before the memorial, honoring the president who had issued the Emancipation Proclamation a hundred years earlier. If you take a look at the steps just in front of the building, you will see an inscription on the ground marking where King stood when he held his speech. The Lincoln Memorial is today a very popular place for visitors. Not only typical tourists, but also many schools take field trips to the memorial in educational purposes. In total, an estimate of more than 3.5 million people visit the site annually.